Saw dudes, Lumina is better than Well of Radiance when it comes to damage buffs. Whoever told you that being relegated to buffing others' damage lessens your own, though, is wrong. Lumina provides a 35% damage buff to you and an ally upon landing a noble round on them, which can be provided without kills via Boots of the Assembler when standing in wrists. So not only are you going to be doing big DPS, your goofy blueberries will too. Let's get started. Step 1. Hop on the dress wearing subclass. Use this letter on screen. Pause if you need to, or click the dim link provided in the description. Step 2. Use a weapon loadout that makes your energy and heavy slot the same element so that triple surge mods can buff them both. In my case, I use Royal Executioner and Apex Predator with solar surge mods, but you could easily go Iterative Loop and Hothead with Arc Surge mods. Fusion Rifles are great for special weapon DPS and Apex Predator can be crafted with Reconstruction and Bait and Switch for easy DPS rotations. If you don't have Royal Executioner, you could easily use Cartesian Coordinate instead. Make sure that at least one copy of Time Dilation is on your bond for the lengthened buff duration. Step 3. Memorize this protocol for your damage rotations. Before starting boss DPS, drop a rift to gain Noble Rounds for Lumina. When the DPS phase starts, shoot a couple of teammates with Noble Rounds by hip-firing Lumina. Afterward, fire a standard shot at the boss by aiming down sights. Fire your fusion rifle, then unload two bait and switch shots from Apex Predator. In the 11 seconds that you and your ally have the buff, cycle between the fusion rifle and rocket for DPS. Refresh Lumina's buff at the last second, and repeat. Here's an example of the DPS rotation you're aiming for. Even with Mist Rockets and Nazarek's janky movement, getting good numbers is fairly easy. That one phase was far from perfect, but numbers don't lie. Thank you for watching and happy farming.